Well, whatever it is, check that out. Look at that. Wow, what is this thing? It's a seated. It is a seated quarter. And I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. That is a breastplate, eagle breastplate, folks. All right, this is gonna be a cool token. Man, check that out, that's just unbelievable. Look at that, guys. I have never dug a U.S. plate. Ah, you gotta kiss her, she's beautiful. Mwah. What is it? Give me a hug! <laughs> He's hugging me, that must be good. from the panhandle of Texas. I'm up here uh, for work and uh, my family on my mom's side has a house here in kind of an adjacent town. It's a 1920s, 1930s home. No one lives there. So I thought I would uh, pop down here and get this house and see what we can come up with. It's 39 degrees. It's been raining all night today. I, I mean, all night and uh, the day before. So the ground is really wet. So maybe that's gonna be good because it's getting really dry up here. And so we're gonna head down there and see what we find. Tomorrow I'm gonna meet up with the Dig and Doc Holiday and we're gonna go to an old house that we did before, but we've learned our mana cores a little bit better, got the update. So hopefully we can pluck out a few things from Mother Earth. Uh, we have a vacant lot on one side and kind of an open field on the other that uh, there's been a lot of activity over the years there. So hopefully we're gonna find some old coins, even token, who knows what we're gonna find. But I've got just a little bit further to go, so you guys just sit back and enjoy the show. And I will see you out in the yard. location the good thing it's a corner lot and that's always promising when you're doing old houses like this it's definitely 1930s could be 1920s with the siding the way it is it's got a backyard and uh, got a, a sidewalk strip that's uh, grown up so there may be some coins around the sidewalk strip front porch steps so let's get suited up it's a little wet but uh, I can make it I'm a big boy and uh, let's see what we can find in this yard. Let's get at it. I'm going to be hunting with my mana core this morning. And here are my normal settings that I use. And so, let's get out. Let's start seeing if we can find some silver. There's a good high tone, kind of scratchy. Six to eight inches deep. All right, let's five dig it. It's right here beside this tree. Maybe this is going to be my, this is my first target. So hopefully it's going to be silver. I hope so. No, that couldn't be it. That's too shallow. Sorry about the traffic. It's right here on the side of the road. No, I don't think this is my target. I think that's something. Yeah, it's just a piece of trash. Let's uh, dig down deeper. It was sounding pretty deep. There we 
go. That's getting more like it. That's that piece of trash. Oh, I hate them when you have to chase them like this. All right, let me see if I can find this. I'll come back to you. All right, that's why it was such a good target. It was a piece of copper pipe fitting. All right, I thought I had a big silver. Let's keep swinging. Maybe we'll find that big silver. Well, check this out. I was getting a 67, a 68. I wasn't expecting this. I don't know if y'all can see it there in the sun glare, but it says one cent. And flip that over. That's going to be an Indian head penny. And I've been hitting, I've been skipping over some of these 60s. I want because they're real scratchy. They sound like trash. I'm going to go back and start digging them see what we come up with let me clean this up and let's see if I can get a date on it well the best I can tell is a 1906 Indian head penny well I wasn't expecting an Indian head in the 1930s home but I'll take it any time this house may be a little bit older all right that's promising if there's an Indian head in here there's got to be a, a barber in here so let's go on the hunt let's go back and dig those 67s as well In a 25, 26, could be a nickel. Could be a nickel. Let's uh, dig it together and let's find out. It's not too far away from where that Indian head penny was. So it could be a V nick. Ground's just right for digging. No, nope. it's gonna fool you every time. Just a beaver tail. Check that out. No fork. There's an old one too. Wow, this place may be older than I think. All right, let's keep digging and see what we can get. Well, I've been swinging a while now. Still haven't found any silver. Found a coin spill, found a lot of pennies, a lot of uh, change, things like that. Dug a few nickels, and uh, but nothing really old. No Wheaties. Uh, I kind of think this place might have been a detective before, and I'm just finding stuff that's left over. I mean, I haven't found a weedy, a silver, or anything, and very little, very little um, clad, a little coin spill and stuff, a few pennies. But I got a 2627 here, and uh, I was hoping it's going to be another Indian. Not an Indian head penny, but an Indian buffalo nickel. And uh, let's look at it together. I got it exposed here in the bottom of the hole. Yeah, I just popped it up. It fell back in the hole. Yep, it's going to be a buffalo. May even have a date on it. It's in pretty good shape. Check that out. Let's see if we can get a date on this one. I think we can. Let me clean it up a little bit and see what we can see, see what date it is. Looks like it's going to be a 1937. Boy, I just did make it. 1938 was the last year they made these. 37. It's in great shape, too. I mean, usually these things come out of the ground red and very worn. But check out the definition on this one. It is in great shape. All right, just about finished, so I'm going to... Swing a little bit longer, see if I can't pop out at least one type of silver. All right, let's get a pick and keep on going. Well, I was getting a 61, very deep, and just popped it up and I see a little gold. Check this out. I don't think it's going to be a gold coin, but, oh man, check that out. It's got a star on it. Huh. Let's clean this up. 
Let's see what it's going to be. Well, I don't know what it's going to be. It's pretty. It could be gold. It looks like it has something in the center of the star, then something in each point of the star. And it almost looks like it has the word F-A-T-A-L around it, the center. It's a pin. I don't see any markings on the back, but I need to clean it up a little bit better. I'll have to do some research on this one. That's pretty nice. All right, let's get a picture. Let's keep going back over and hit this a little bit better. Well, that's going to do it for me. This house produced a few good finds, an Indian head, the buffalo, and that pen. But other than that, that's about all I got. I think it's been hunted. So, all right, well, I'm going to head on to the house, and I'll see you guys with Digging Doc Holiday tomorrow morning. So I'll see you in the yard. Well, we're back on location with Digging Doc Holiday. Coming back to this old yard that we did. We got a vacant lot on the other side of that fence. It's an 1850s home, I believe, they said. Got a big front yard, big side yard, and we got access to that field over there where some activity. So we're here. Let's suit up. Let's see what we can find. Here's my first decent signal. Probably going to be a penny. Let's see what this is going to be. It's got the depth on it. Sounds good. Sounds deep and a good tone. But maybe just a penny. I'm hoping that it's going to be a thin barber dime. I think it's going to be a little deeper. Nice and cool today. There it is right there. What's it going to be? Is it just going to be a regular, regular penny, regular memorial? All right, let's keep swinging. Here's our house that we're hunting today. Beautiful house. There's Digging Doc Holiday. It's got to be something out here, somewhere. Let's keep swinging. Look at that, 91, 92. It's six inches deep. Hunter's yelling at me. What is it? He's digging a big 90-something signal, but we think it may be iron. What was it? A nail. A nail. Yeah. I'll let him have the nails. All right, let's live dig this. And let's see what this is going to be. I have a feeling it's going to be a clad quarter. But it's blowing my ears off. It said six inches, so more likely four inches roots in here man maybe it's silver oh all these roots let's see let's it's right there come on folks let's hope for silver Well, whatever it is, check that out. Look at that. That's going to be a, one of those palm olive tokens, I bet. I'll take a big token. Check that out. I don't know. It's too thick to be a token. Wow, what is this thing? Let me do some cleaning up on it. And uh, I'll get back with you. I thought it was going to hopefully be silver, but I'll take a 
Well, is it silver? <laughs> it's it's going to be a local token at that. Well, kind of regional token. Tyler Courier Times and Morning Telegraph. Telegraph? Is that it? Yeah. Ty this is going to be kind of... Tyler? Yeah. Probably going to say Rose City. I don't think we... I don't think we work around the, this wood line. We'll check that right. out, guys. Yeah, check that out, guys. That's awesome. I'm going to keep trying to clean it up. And for the wrap-up, I'll get all this writing on the edge. You can see it's thick. Brass token. This probably dates back a ways. All right, let's get a picture. And let's keep on going. Nice little for a token for a beautiful home that we're digging in today. All right, let's get a picture, keep on swinging. Well, not too far away from that uh, token. I'm just making my way up here beside the house. I was getting a 24, thinking it's going to be a nickel signal. It was a solid nickel signal. Dug it up, and what the nickel? But well, check this out. It's going to be a little ring, a little brass ring. Not much. But hey, I'll take a little ring. Let's set that little beauty down right there. Let's get a picture and keep on swinging. Well, I moved over here on this side part. Last time we were here, this was kind of grown up and we couldn't detect in here. It's just a bunch of uh, crepe myrtles and and stuff. But I was getting a... Uh, I don't know if y'all can see this. Let me find it again. There it is. So 83 to a 76. It's fairly deep. So I'm gonna live dig it just in case. Oh, there's something in there. Some type of rock. There's that big old rock. All right, let's see if we can find some shiny. Make sure it's not up here. Yep, yeah, there it was right there. What is that going to be? Maybe a penny. Oh, it's going to be a dime. All right, let's keep rolling. I was getting a very deep 96. That's uh, at least nine inches deep. Popped it up. You can see the different color soil. It's going to be some type of. I don't know. Let's do a little cleanup on this and let's see what this is. Well, it's going to be a Ford emblem. Don't know what year that might be, how old that is. But hey, I'll take it. it. Looks really pretty. I'll put it in my Ford collection display. All right, let's get a picture and let's keep on rolling. Well, we moved on from that house. We didn't find anything down there, so we decided to come down here on the way home. There's a, another vacant lot here on the side of the road. I'll show it to you. We decided to, to hit it. Not much. Used to be an old house right here. I remember it was there, and they tore it down. So we're just kind of hunting this strip right in here, and then we're kind of hitting the strip right in there. And uh, I was just getting a, a real mixed high tone. I, I was didn't really live dig I showed you a little bit of it but it was this fuse or something but then and I see yeah it's getting a high tone but it's jumping around up to mid 90s down to 60s and jumping all around but if you get in the right spot it's hitting 90s had no fuse in there and then I dug that out and then we got 
What is it? Mark? It's gonna be a Mark? It's got a ring around it too, so maybe an old one. Look at you, man, on the board. What year is that? I was just fixing to come over here. Come in, tell me what year it is. I can, I, I'm sure the people on camera can see it. See it. All around this red field dirt, too. Yeah. 1920. 1920. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's and that's why I love the manacore. Look, it, it picked out both of them. Did you see them on the graph, both of them? Yeah, yeah, you can see them both. All right, let's see if there's any more in here. Maybe one or two more. Let's put that up there and let's get a picture and let's keep on going. All right, Hunter's got him a 91 to a 95, four inches deep. It could be silver, it could just be a clad. It just could be junk too. We're digging a lot of trash out in this old house site. Copper pipe. Is it in the plug? It's in the plug. Come on, silver. Come on. Too shallow. Oh gosh, I had to give you a jump on it. <laughs> what is that thing? A uh, battery. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh man. Well, maybe <laughs> next time. Bazinga. Bazinga. Let's keep looking. Well, we made it in from detecting. I did a little dig yesterday and met up with Digging Doc Holiday today, and uh, we. Didn't find a whole lot, but we found a few things. At least I did. Hunter didn't have such a, a good day, but he had a good time. Way just being out here, right? right. Hopefully so. Always. Hopefully so. But uh, here's here's everything we got on this uh, video. There's my trash there. I ended up with one, two, three, four, and I did get a bicentennial at that lot where you got yours. Uh, so five quarters. We got six dimes, three nickels, and five, ten, thirteen pennies. For the relics, I got an old buckle. I got that old Ford emblem. And this silver plated at one time, very old fork. A couple of brass beads that were in the hole. I got an old brass ring. Probably silver at one time. I got an Eastern Star, Masonic Eastern Star pin. To me, this is my best find. This says, uh, what does it say again? I forgot what it says. Oh, well, you saw in the video what it said. It said Tyler Courier Times and Telegraph and something Telegraph. And on the back, it says Rose City, capital of the world, Tyler, Texas. So it's a big, nice brass token. I did get one weedy. I got one 1906 Indian head. I got a 37 Buffalo nickel. And then my silver was this 1920 Mercury dime. So not a whole lot. Not every video get, you get a whole lot. But found a few treasures out of the deal. But it was good to get out there and do some digging. But it's always good to get out and do some digging. Especially with the buddy. And uh, and so I just I was giving him some targets, hoping Hunter could get on a a, a, a silver or something, you know, and uh, get on the board. But he, if we were playing the Weedy King, he would have won. He got how many Weedies did you get? Uh, about five. About weedies. five Weedies. I just got one. So he was definitely the Weedy King on that. And I should give him a coin, shouldn't I? I tell you what, I'm gonna give him a Bayou Dig Gold Token. How about that? I'll That'll give him work. that. I'll give him a Bayou Digs Token. There we go, Bayou Digs. Let's see, I think it goes this way. And so, since you are the Weedy King, we're going to give you a Bayou Digs gold right. token. Check that out. That's yeah, that's good as gold right there, man. That's good as gold. Video. Yeah. All right, man. I watched you get this thing. So. <laughs> well, now you got one. Good. Well, there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure, my friends, is not what you can go out and dig out of a yard. The greatest treasure is what's found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.